Welcome back to the Bike Man for You, how to put a motor on a bicycle. Uh, this is a great project. We showed you all the components in part one. If you missed part one, go check out part one because part one was just the basics of what everything that it is. We started this project one time and then it kind of got pushed to the side and then it came back out again. And one of our great viewers, uh, Matt Ass over there in Canada, he helped us out by turning, we had a carburetor upside down and this and that. And, he told us not to use the kill switch, which is right here. You just pop the clutch, just hold it and to stop it or just ground it out or whatever you gotta do to stop it. You don't need the kill switch. The kill switch, I guess, screws up the magneto or something like that. But we've got this baby on there and it's been running for a while and it's been a lot of fun. One of the toughest things that we had doing with this thing was putting that sprocket on the back. And it takes a lot of centering and whatnot maybe if i turn it like this would that help you out Did that help you out some yeah a little bit so you got this sprocket here that goes on to there and then you got this thing in here which is they call it a rag joint which is this part here so the bolts go through here this holds on to that and blah 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 and you got to get this bad boy in the center um and remember now now th this has been on here for a little bit and it's about time we retension our spokes on this it seems that they seem to be getting a little loose i gotta get marco on that bmx boy he'll get on that and give us a little tightenage uh, we probably should have tied and soldered these spokes if you don't know what tying and soldering your spokes are go over we got a video on that uh it's uh, makes this beef beef a ram we put them on our polo bikes as well uh but this is kind of like almost you know what it kind of looks like it looks like it's like pieces of old tire uh radial tire that they cut up and they put that and they sandwich that in the spokes and then you got the, the steel sprockets on the back side and this is on the front and it was kind this is the toughest part we got a chain tensioner here this is the factory chain tensioner right here so we can move this up and down accordingly to get our chain somewhat tight in the initial stages, our chain was too loose and it jammed up and into here. We had to take it apart and do what we had to do. Uh, this is your this is your clutch, which we'll get into that in a minute. Uh, the other tough part, some of the things that we've had problems with, or we've talked to people about, put that down, is the fact that they might need a longer bottom bracket axle uh, because this does not clear the motor. Okay, as you can see, it is fractions. Uh, the only reason it's fractions is because I took a big pipe on here and I bent this back. We wanted to do this on a budget and do it as quickly as we possibly could to make this thing... Because I didn't know if it was going to work. Who knew? Uh, it works, believe me. We're going to go put it on the dynamometer in about two seconds. We also pushed this. I crushed this with a... I mean, really, Rube Goldberg at its best. We just slammed this thing home and just beat it up so that way it would fit in there and kind of rigged it up accordingly we got our gas can on there let me move out get out of the way we got our gas tank on there we got a little bit of two cycle gas uh, the mixture is kind of critical at least in the original stages we put a dual brake lever this was extracurricular on this we put a dual brake lever so that way when you hit this you hit both brakes at the same time with one lever all right for stoppage purposes this brake lever here is the clutch this, there's a handle that comes with your kit for it to clutch. You keep it pushed in, now you can pedal this bicycle, well, relatively. It's a little tough on there. If I hold it in really even more, it pedals a little better. But again, it's all, the engine is all running. There's not that much of a coast or anything to go with it. Um, but now we're going to go over, oh, we mounted it onto some rubber. We put some rubber, old rubber tube underneath the, the mount. Uh, guys get into polishing this out and really making it all deluxe and you know you can really get creative with this but this is just a basic raw model out of the box on the bike we took an older bike uh a fat tire 26 inch bike really old school and uh we put it put it on that we wanted to do this as least costly and see if it worked as possible all right would you guys like to put it on the dynamometer right now and see what happens yay <laughs> all right so I'm going to go set your clamor up over there and come over and give me a hand hump, humping this thing out of here, will you? This thing's heavy, man. Man, that should probably, you probably, yeah, I guess so on that side. Doesn't much matter. Come on over. Help me out here. You got the back end? Oh, careful. You don't want to pop the old uh, gonads there. All right, let's put her on the dynamometer over here. 
Oh yeah, baby. All right, she's on. All right, so basically I'm holding in my clutch here and I'm just pedaling it down the street. And I gotta make sure my fuel is on. The fuel is in line so I'm getting juice. Maybe a little bit of choke, all right? And we're gonna pedal it and then we're gonna release this but we're gonna put it back in again and we're gonna see what happens. It's gonna be loud. So I hope you're ready. I got my throttle up here a little bit. You ready? Here we go. Oh, jeez. I wasn't quite ready for that. I gotta keep on pedaling. I think it's some compression going, you know? I think it's going good. There she is. So now I got my clutch in. I don't have to worry about anything. I'm pedaling along. I let my clutch out. At the same time I'm letting my clutch out, I'm giving it a little gas. You don't need to beat on it far, you know? Pedal it normally. There you have it guys, the motor on a bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> Did I miss anything? Nope. You want to see it go down the road? Stay tuned because we are always using this baby around town and whatnot. It does burn a lot of gas though. All right, there you have it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. A little quickie mini series, a little two-parter there for you. Don't forget to rate, comment, and or subscribe. And I want you to never fear, the bike man for you is here. Get the phone. Yeah. The urban the bike van for you. You're gonna All check of these bikes kind of caught my eye. Uh, I yeah. like it. You want to know where to go, I like obviously. The tour. I don't like that. You text. <laughs> we want simple. We want utilitarian bicycles that are going to get us from point A to point B, and we're going to look good.